Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of Code Logical, and in today's video we're going to have a look at communicating between controllers. Okay, so from up until now we've just been handling events from a template up until up to its corresponding controller. But now let's see how we can tell one controller to access another controller and do something inside of it. So right now we have two templates inside our index.html um, file. There's the index template and then there's the about template. And I've created two um, link helpers inside of the application template to link us to the index and about page so we can easily access them. So just let's just visit our browser and see what we have. So after refreshing our browser page, this is what we have. We are inside the index template and when I click on about, it says inside the about template and likewise for the index, it just takes us back to the index template. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created two um, controllers already there's the index controller and then there's the about controller and each of them have two methods call about controller for the index controller and then there's pop-up um, action as well and then inside the about controller we have a call index controller and then there's a pop-up so what do we want to do we want that when we are inside the index template when the button is clicked it will call this function here call about controller so that will call the pop-up method or action for the about controller Likewise, when we inside the about template, we want when we click the button, which is inside the about template, that it calls this function um, action that calls this controller's um, pop-up um, action. So how do we do that? First of all, let's just create the buttons first. Okay, so inside the index here, we just say button and we'll say call action. Also, we just say call um about pop up okay and then its action here we'll just give it um, let's see what the action name is inside the index template so it's call call about controller so we'll just paste that in here okay so I'll just quickly copy this as well and just paste it inside the about template and we'll say call index pop-up instead of about and we'll just say call index controller okay but that is not enough we need to do two more things let's say um, there's something called needs in Ember and it's a way of telling a controller that I want you to give me access to this other controller so if we want index controller to have access to this about controller you can just say needs and it's going to be an array and inside that array there we can specify which controllers we need access to we can have access to as many controllers as we want even the application um, controller as well but we don't need that in this video so we'll just stick to the about controller so we'll just say about you don't need the controller part of um, the name and likewise for the about controller we just say needs and we pass in an array and that would be you guessed it right index as well so now these two controllers have access to each other okay so now how do we since when we click the um, button inside of the about template it calls this action here called index controller so now inside here that's where we want to access this other controller and then call its pop-up method so how do we do that so when you provide the needs property inside a controller then you can access any controller that it has access to by using um, the controller controllers plural property of that controller so now we want to access index controller inside about controller we do this dot controllers dot about sorry index okay so now we have access to that index but that's not enough we have to say dot send and that's how you call a controller um, action okay so let me just recap what's happening here we're saying this dot controllers that's this array here now we're saying inside that array get me the index controller which is this one here and then next we're saying just send an action that is call any action inside this actions hash here and then you have to pass in the name of whichever action you want to call so let's just say pop up here and we'll just copy this as well 
we'll go inside the call about controller here and we'll say this dot controllers dot instead of index we have to do just about dot send pop up okay now let's go back in our browser and we see what we have now refresh this as you can see call about pop up when i click there we should see an alert box here if everything goes right or else we're back to the debugging board okay Okay, so it says cannot read property about of undefined. Let's see where that's happening. This dot controllers dot about. Okay, I just now realized the issue. Um, the problem is that we didn't use the get function of Ember. So remember, if you need to access any property in your controllers, you need to use this dot get. So um, yeah, let's do that now. So we're getting the controllers property and then inside that controllers property we get the about property of it. That's why Ember didn't know that there was a controllers. There's not a direct property controller. So we use the get. Remember if you need to get anything, any sort of property inside your controller. So let's try this. Okay, we refresh once more. And I click this. And it says pop up from about controller. So this is calling the um, pop-up method inside the about controller now let's navigate to the about route or template and we click on call index pop-up that should pop up another pop-up here saying call uh, pop-up from the index controller so we click that it says pop-up from index controller okay guys there you have it that's how you um, do access one controller from another um, in a later video I will show you how to access controllers regardless of using the needs and that's how you can do that using the route but this is the more modular way and more maintainable way of doing that. At least now inside your controller here, when you look at it, you will know directly um, which controllers this controller has access to. Okay. So thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.